Government introduced a free connections policy in 2018 with an aim of upscaling power connections on and off the grid at the rate of 300 new connections every year. <laughs> However, due to COVID-19 and other financial constraints, the policy is told, despite exchanges of letters between the ministries of finance and energy over who would implement the project. According to Umeme, this led to delays translating into a backlog of over 210,000 clients waiting for free connections. Now, there is renewed hope after government and World Bank agreed to finance over 1 million connections under the $600 million loan, according to the Energy Permanent Secretary Irene Batewe. Today as we speak, the World Bank Executive Board of Directors approved the funding and on our side we are equally preparing to present this funding to Cabinet and consequently Parliament for approval and uh, we are hopeful that once those approvals are obtained we should be able to roll out the new project in the new financial year 2022-2023. Batebe was instrumental in sealing off the deal with the World Bank highlighted some of the beneficiaries of the policy. Electrification of industrial parks and refugee host communities. So it is a significant funding that will go a long way to see that many Ugandans are connected to the national grid. Under the policy, there is a component of Buy Uganda, Build Uganda, BUBU, where the sector is expected to tap into the operations of manufacturers of transformers instead of relying on imports. We partner with the Uganda National Bureau of Standards to reach out to these companies and ensure that their capacity is being built. As we speak, uh, we've just finalized, led by our minister, a visit to one of the main companies, Nile Transformers in Jinja, just a visit to assess their capacity. Unlike in the past, where a single entity would win the tender and then subcontract others, more players will be allowed into this. One of the challenges that the companies face usually is financial. And we've been encouraging them to, to form joint venture partners, partnerships. Partner, those that are technically strong, partnering with those with the financial capacity to be able to ultimately meet the requirements of the industry. There has been an issue previously that you have invested in a lot of money. You find you've connected people, but they are not utilizing the power. So have you made an assessment to ensure that actually there will be value for that huge investment. In some areas you find that a good portion of the power is only going to lighting and we are encouraging Ugandans to ensure that this power is put to productive usage. NTV also spoke to Umeme boss Celestino Babunji about the new connections. So the policy came into place in 2018. We scaled up actually at that time we connected over 180,000 customers. Then 2020 we scaled back because of funding challenges that we face with the government. Um, if you look at our 2020 ac accounts, you'll see that we only connected 57,000 connections the whole year, Ye 2020. Yet on average, we used to connect 150,000 customers plus. And the policy was aiming at connecting 300,000 co connections per year. Babunji broke down the cost that government will be shouldering from the public. A poll service, if you are saying I'm paying for myself, the cost is just under 730,000 Uganda shillings. And if it's a poll, one poll is 2.2 million Uganda shillings. And all these costs are inclusive of VAT, all the materials. It remains to be seen when the new connections will commence. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.